Hello guys, welcome back to Good Travel Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix Sea of Thieves. There is a missing or corrupted data file that required to run the game. Right, so this problem has been seen a couple of times to the PC users. So we are here to help you out with six solutions which you can try out. All these are the possible workarounds which can fix the issue up. Right, so the first thing what you have to do is you have to press window key plus I to open to the window settings. Once you're done with that, you have to go on, click on update and security here. Then you have to click on select windows. We have to go for select windows security. Then you have to click on virus and threat protection. Then you have to click on add an exclusion. Right, you have to click on add an exclusion so that you have to come down. So virus and threat production settings, you have to go for manage here. Then you have to scroll down and you have to come for exclusions, right? So here there is an option add or remove exclusions which you have to click on this. Then from here you have to add an exclusion which in the sense you have to add the uh, sotgames.exe exe files which is of steam of themes right so about this again we have to add this files right so you have to click here then you have to go for file then you have to add right you have to add respective folder dot exe folders from here where you have successfully installed the game right you have to add this up right and once after doing this once you're done with the adding then you have to close this up then you have to cancel this then you have to get back then you have to go here at the bottom then you have to go for restart option you have to go for restart then you have to once again try the run so this will be fixing the issue up so if that doesn't fix what happens is it is the next run is fix microsoft store issue so right so mr us may be aware that in some cases the microsoft store can also be conflict with few games while installing or updating so according to the official sea of thieves support team they're working on the various reasons behind the Microsoft Store issues. Till then, if you're experiencing the same error message, make sure to fully uninstall the game and reinstall it via the Microsoft Store. Right? So that is an issue. Then we have to go for is the third one is fix overclocking issue. There are some of the affected C of Thieves players have reportedly that they experience the same missing corrupted data error message if they overclock their hardware performance. And it can be anything like you know overclocking cpu gpu or ram although overclocking hardware will give you improved power pack performance some of the games may crash easily due to the imbalance therefore we'll recommend all players to reset restore cpu or gpu or memory clock speed to the default level and alternatively windows users can also reinstall the game after restoring the clock speed which will have give a perfect balance between the hardware compatibility and the game and also we just wanted to make you notice that in case if you manually overclocked your machine then try to increase the avx instruction negative offset of your motherboard then also i wanted to make you notice the third step which i'm which i mentioned already on uh, you know overclocking the issue i just wanted to make you notice that you know uh, modifying these settings with your own motherboard at you have to take your own risk and we can only suggest the possible ways and we are not the one to take the blame we have to do it your own risk right so next one is just a very usual process which is called update windows so that you have to go to start menu right you have to go for start menu then you have to go for settings then you have to go for update and security you can search here update and security right you can go for uh, update and security you can go for check for updates then uh, you have to check for updates your option is there then if there is a new updates available you can uh, you know you can go for update and you can try playing the game once again so once done as you know that if the update is there it will be you know it update will take place and it gets started up so that once after restarting you can try the game to play once again 
so uh, as you can see that I'm here you are up to date so I had I don't have any you know update so that I don't have to get panicked all you have to do is just get back and play the game once again so next one is all about updates GPU drivers right similarly updating your graphic drivers to the latest version is always recommended as it is not only a fix of some of the graphic related issues but also resolve the graphic crashes or bugs with some of the games as well so to do this you have to go to here and you have to go for you know device manager right you have to uh, go for manage then I have to go for device manager and then I have to check for you know update driver options available here then I have to check from here if any kind of software updates are available so I have to go for it right so the updates can fix the issue up right so that is what I have to do when it comes to the updates and also there are search automatic update drivers available right so and also apart from this you can also go in this way such a way that you know uh, you can go f over here and as you can see that you know you can also on my cases what I'm trying to convince you is that uh, you know I am using this one so here as you can see that's mine is Radeon so I'm using the graphics rights of Radeon so I have to check here the updates available in this way also I can go for the update which is called manually and where I can go for the update so it's all about I just want to make you notice if the updates is available on a graph card you can go for the updates which is quite interesting and you have to do that because in not only in this game but in most case you can fix the issue up right so the last one is all about incompatible software it is also possible that some third party rogue application are causing a particular issue with the SOT game so in the case in you know, a software attempts to inject a self process scan on windows so those game files might be corrupted or forces to crash well so if you're having this issue what you have to do is we recommend you to uninstall and reinstall or update the software on your pc right so that can fix the issue up right then uh, next one is an issue with the hardware so if all you try all these things and it doesn't work we just wanted to make you notice there is an issue with the hardware then you have to sometimes unmounting the ram cpu gpu and mounting it back can fix the error message or crashes on your windows very easily so meanwhile there can be issue with your cmos battery or hard disk or ssd as well so check all these one by one and also make sure to free up the space of the disk where the game is installed and alternatively you can fully uninstall and reinstall the sot games on your computer and ensure the change to drive location to check for the issue again Though uninstalling isn't a good idea, but if nothing works for, then it is recommend you to try this once, right? So that's all about we have for to fix. See of thieves, there is a missing corrupted data file that you require to run the game on Windows PC, right? If you find this helpful, do subscribe and click on the bell icon for the notification. And this is Shaheen. Thank you so much for watching this, and do let us know any kind of suggestions that we have to do from our side to make our viewers and subscribers really happy. Right, any kind of solutions are most welcome so that we can improve ourselves and this is Shahin once again. Keep practice social listening. See you soon in the next video. Peace out.